Listen. I'm injured. Something is wrong with my leg, and there's definitely a chance that I'll never be able to run. That knee problem that Casey Neistat's explaining is the same thing that I have. About six years ago, a doctor actually told me the same thing, that I might not be able to skate anymore. And in the hospital, the doctor told me, Casey, you're never gonna be able to run again. It was terrifying, but obviously I figured out a way to keep skateboarding. The crazy thing about that knee injury is when I was getting checked up, the doctor said that it was a common thing among sergeants, people who go way too ham physically. Can you just go oh, no. to my squad? And it wasn't the fact that I was constantly jumping down things that was ruining my knee, it was the up and down motion of bending to do tricks. So imagine my fear when they pretty much said, you don't have to just stop jumping down things, you have to stop skateboarding, period. Long story short, I did have to stop skating for about three months and I had to do these certain exercises where I'd stretch the tendons on my thighs to make my knee feel better and my hips, I had to stretch those out. It was a terrible, terrible process, but stretching fixed it, which I can't say helped the next problem that's wrong with me right now. Now this one's a little goofier. Uh, I have something called dancer's feet. Do you know how people in ballet wear really, really, really tight shoes? Well, I've had that problem for a while. So I genuinely didn't know what size shoe I wore for the longest time. I would just fluctuate anywhere from size nine to 11 because I never got new shoes. I only wore people's leftover shoes for years and years and years and years because poor. Also, did you guys randomly see the van in front of me? Long story short, I did have to stop skating. That was an undercover cop, and he asked me not to film his license while showing me his badge. <laughs> Trying to simultaneously upload footage while talking about this subject, but yeah, my feet. So what ends up happening to a lot of dancers and me is that the shoes are so tight that somehow there's cartilage buildup around the tendons in your feet. So basically, anytime I wear shoes that are too skinny now, that's why I wear flip-flops all the time, my feet can be in a lot of pain. And when this happens, my pinky toe on the foot that is hurting in the moment, it can be both, will start getting numb. And if my foot bends a certain way, it's excruciating pain. And that one, unfortunately, I don't think we've found a cure for yet. It feels better than it did before because I wear shoes that fit, and that's why I always wear Vans as well because they fit wider. I just need wider shoes now at this point. And there's certain shoes that I literally just can't wear, certain companies. I think I'm getting a ticket as we speak. What are the odds? Go ahead and put money in the meter. Oh. Cool, thank you. I appreciate that. No problem. Dude, that is the first time in history that someone didn't give me a ticket when I came up to a bar. The first time. I didn't even ask him not to give me a ticket because it's so expected, and he just didn't. I'm so happy. I can't look at it, I have a ticket! Nothing feels better than this. Now I feel like we're in LA. But before the busy day gets ahead of me, West Hollywood Skate Park, say I won't. Torturous. I gotta give my legs a little bit of a stretch after a session like that, especially for my right knee, the one with the issue. 
Uh, the shoes actually feel amazing. They're really padded. So actually at first, I felt like I couldn't flick well. Obviously I missed the first kickflip. It's the worst to fail the kickflip test, but it's because there's so much padding. So they felt great. I'm gonna sit here in this position, stretching while posting an Instagram story. Yet again, the hardest thing after a session is adjusting to being a normal human being again. It's 2 p.m. And in my head, I'm like, I still have so much to do. I actually need to find a place with fast Wi-Fi, so I might need to buy a daily pass to one of those co-working spaces just to upload something to Google Drive. I'm sure that was really interesting. Let's go get some food. This can't be good to eat every single meal. So the food really, really didn't fill me up, so I'm about to do something pretty ironic. Oh, no, yeah. Hey there, I was wondering if I can just get a large fry. Okay. Dude, I'm so sorry. I couldn't help it. I had to do it. Anyways, I'm gonna drive down to Beverly Hills now just because it's 45 minutes away. It's where I'm staying tonight, and I need the 45 minutes of driving to relax and let my muscles be like, yay. Yeah. And then I can get straight to work once I get there. We need to find fast Wi-Fi. I am in pretty immense pain. After an hour of driving, I'm only more sore now, but I'm walking to the hotel, so let's check out the hotel for tonight and see if the lobby has enough Wi-Fi for me to send these things up into the atmosphere for somebody to blah, 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 you know? Is this the entrance? Yeah. Oh, hello. Wow. Hello there. Hey there. Unique look. Yeah, we have a lot of artwork. We have uh, several material nail pieces, Michael Mobius, Bentley family. Really? There'll be every movie store in the world will be there. So come to the bar between 5 and 6, BNY, breakfast 7 to 10. That's all part of your hotel fee. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's only, oh my God, that light. It's only four o'clock and I could literally fall asleep right now, but we need to check the internet. Look at this line down my hot body. The amount of stuff that I want to get done, I know this is relatable, but there's a thousand projects. There's so many things I could do right now, but not enough manpower. I'm trying my best, but I'm laying here like an idiot. So let me- I forgot the internet already. Uh, what was the Wi-Fi again? You just showed me to my room. <laughs> Small letters, no spaces. Okay, I think I just tried that. That was the strange part. Okay. Oh, got it. Please be fast. Please be fast. Hey! Yes! Oh my God. Here's why this is a jackpot, because now I can go run errands while my computer sits here and actually uploads footage. Dude, this is a miracle. My life is better now. You probably think that you are better now. All right, I'll see you guys in heaven. I'm so happy that worked out, and I just remember that tomorrow we'll have an Airbnb and Sarah will be in town so that we can get that fast Wi-Fi right off like that, though. But I'm gonna get my car, bring it back here, and then I'm gonna go on a mission by myself because it's too nice outside not to be walking around and enjoying that sun. Wow. Moment of truth yet again. Does he have a ticket? Dude. I'm just getting, I'm the luckiest person on this planet. Here we go, round two. I just need some pants. This place has a lot more options. We're gonna find pants, and there's like 15 stores around here, so I'm not leaving until I do, jerk. I did it. Two pairs of pants are now owned by Sir Me A Lot. Anyways, this is Beverly Hills at night. Here we are. That is amazing. And I think that's gonna be it. When I vlog, I don't know where to end. I don't know what I'm doing. But I found pants, and I think life is better now. But I also got some food from Cafe Gratitude, the most pretentious vegan spa in all of California. And I got it to go. Because I want to eat it here and watch random Dragon Ball Z. Oh, man. I started over, and I'm just entering the Frieza saga, so things are about to get lit. On that note, I'll see your face tomorrow for another video, because we're doing them every single day. Even though, I don't know if I have a video going up tomorrow night, which is the Wednesday that had happened before. So if you don't see a video on that Wednesday in the past, I'm sorry. Strange. But thank you for coming in today. I appreciate you watching this video and taking some time out of your day to hopefully enjoy this thing that I'm providing for your face. And I hope to see you tomorrow, every single day, because that's how your boy does it, every single weekday. That is, so subscribe, like the video, comment down below if you want to have a conversation, and I will see you next time for another video. Human beings, I love you so much. Hillbillies, progress daily, and keep killing it.